Hey, welcome back to Roscoe Reviews. On today's episode, we're going to be patching a hole in a hollow core door. These are really common, especially in apartments that people like to put a nice hole in your door and you can fill that with Bondo body filler. Here's how to do it. A hollow core door like this one, after the trim and everything, will probably run you between $150 and $200. Or you can get a can of Bondo body filler for about 10 bucks and I'll put a link for it in the description down below the video. First, I'm gonna to wanna to get rid of any loose pieces. So like this little piece here is loose, so we can get rid of that. This one is pretty loose, we'll get rid of that. Okay, I've cleaned up the loose pieces. If you still got some, some of this backing in here, it's gonna help hold your Bondo, so we're gonna leave that in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and caulk all along the seams so that my Bondo doesn't just drop back in there, and it'll shore this up so that it's not floppy like that. I'm gonna clean up any excess that I got around the edges so I don't have to sand it off later. And then we'll let that dry. Okay, I've let my caulking dry and I've mixed up my Bondo body filler. I'm gonna go ahead and Try to smooth some in here, and I'd like to only do it once. When you mix up your Bondo, you get a limited amount of time to work with it. So you're gonna need to do this pretty quick. The more hardening agent you add to it, the faster that it will cure. I've let my body filler dry and now I'm ready to sand it. I did get it pretty close to level all the way across there. You can hand sand it with a piece of sandpaper. I'm gonna try to make it go a little faster with the vibrating sander. Once you've gotten it as smooth as you want it, if you were real artsy, you could maybe etch in the wood grain into that, but I'm not real artsy, so mine's just gonna be smooth. But once you get it as smooth as you want it, we can go ahead and paint it. All right, I've got two coats of paint on my door. I think it came out pretty good. It's smooth, so it doesn't have the wood grain in it. You could etch the wood grain in there if you're real artsy, but I'm not very good at that kind of thing, so I'll stick with the smooth. This is going to save you about $200 on replacing the door, and this apartment is rentable again. So I hope you found this helpful. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you back here next time.